Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, in our last video, we showed you how to create a transparent header with your primary menu. And when you scroll, it's going to have a solid dark color and we've changed the link colors out there. That was really easy to do, no coding involved. Sometimes though, if you've got a site all built and your header's working for you, in this case, we go over to another page. I like the way that that header's working for us. Sometimes you might just want this effect on one particular page. And you can do that really easily too by building a custom header for that particular page. So I go down to my dashboard here and I go to my pages. I had one called dark top. We go ahead and view that page. Let's say I just wanted to have that transparent header on this particular page. Really easy to do. Let's go down to our dashboard. We're going to go down to Divi. This time we're going to go to the theme builder. That's going to take us to this page here. Let's get rid of what I've got here and we'll start from scratch. We put a global footer in there in our beginners Divi for beginners video and check out that playlist down below. I'm going to go ahead and add a new template. I'm going to build a new template. I only want this to affect that one page, which is called dark top. And this will only work for published page. It won't work for draft pages. So here it says specific pages and here it'll list all of your published pages. I'm going to select dark top, which is that page we were looking at there. I'm now going to hit create template. It's put in the global footer that we've had all along. If you don't want a global footer, you can do a custom footer for this page. We're working on the header today. So I'm going to say add custom header. I'm just going to click on there and hit build custom header. And that'll open this page here. And by default, it puts in a section, blue tab there, and wants you to put it in a row. I'm going to keep this really simple. You can go to town, you can make this header as complex as you want, but I'm going to keep this really simple for this demonstration today. I'm just going to throw a color in so we can see what's going on. So I'm going to go to background, always find background under content. I'm just going to put a black in there. This is my section. Okay, now let's add a row. I'm going to use a single column in my row. And let's go down and we'll add a menu module. There's our menu module. By default, it puts a white background in there. We'll take care of that in a moment. Select whatever menu you want here. Main menu is the only one I've got on this side at the moment. We can add our logo here as well. So if I click on the logo just below, it prompts us to add an image. We know this is going over a dark background, so I'm going to use my nice light logo there. I pop that in there. And that's huge. Not quite what I want at all, but that's fine. We can fix that over in design. We roll down to sizing. You'll find logo width there. I'm going to, you can slide up and down. It'll actually give it a percentage width there. I'm going to put a pixel value in. I think 200 pixels will do that. 200 PX. That's what I used before. And our menu text there. It's right here. But before I change the color, let's go back to the content here. That's where we find this white background. I'm going to get rid of that. Background. There's a white one. You just hit the little trash can. Great. Well, you can see the logo fine, but we lost our menu links there. So let's go back now to our menu text. I'm going to make both the active link white and the regular link white. Of course, with everything, you can style it any way you want. Choose a font. They've got so many fonts, it's crazy. Just roll over one to audition it. It'll give you an example. Like I say, I'm going to leave mine on the default. Now let's perhaps align this text in the middle. I think the right's going to be too much there. Yeah, that's justified. It's spread it out in between. Yeah, I'm going to leave it just on the middle there. Great. So that's all I'm going to do this head. I'm going to keep it very simple. Of course, that's way too wide. So I'm going to go into my section. Remember, the section is the blue tab. I'm going to go over to design. Down to spacing, I'm going to take any padding away, top and bottom. 
Just put a zero in there, it'll put in picks for you. Hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side. That's getting there, we've still got it too wide for me. Well, that's actually in the row itself. And I'd actually like this menu to be a little bit wider, the whole heading to be a little bit wider. So we've got to go into the row anyway, green tab for the row, we'll go in there. I'm going to make the row full width over in design, sizing. If we roll down a bit, here's the width. I'm going to drag it up to 100. I'm going to copy it, control C, paste it below in the max width. We can just type 100% in there if you want. We've now got a full width row here, which is fine. I don't want my logo right up against the side. So I'm going to give it a bit of padding also. So we can close up sizing just down below sizing. We've got spacing. And I think my sort of default go to is about 15%. Obviously fix yours how you want to. So I'm going to go down to left and put in 15%. That works. I think I'm going to hit the chain. So we've got the same on the other side. Fantastic. And while we're in here, this is still a little too wide for me. So if I go in the top, I'll put a zero in. That's going to take way too much away, I believe. Actually, it's not as bad as I thought. I've hit the chain to do the bottom. I'm going to just increment up till it's about the size that I want. I think that'll work for me. Great. But of course, we want this to be transparent. So we can save everything here. Go back into the section and we'll take that background away. Gone. And everything's still there. Logo and text. So we can now apply it to that page. So we'll save the changes here. Hit the little button down here. Make sure you save the page changes. We'll X out here. Make sure the changes are all saved on this page. Now, if I go back to my dark top page, it should flip to that new one that's going to be transparent, but it's not going to look as good as we wanted it to initially. So we've got to do a few tweaks to make it look good. So let's refresh. And there's our new header up there. It's not what we want at all. The reason it's still white is not because there's a background in there. It's because our content is actually pushed down. So what we need to do is drag our content up a little bit. So it covers this really easy to do. Let's enable the visual builder. Okay. So let's go in there. What we need to do is scoot this section up below our little menu there or behind it. So we'll go into this section over to design and spacing. I'm going to guess that's about a hundred pixels. So let's give it a negative 100 pixels margin on the top. So I'm going to say negative 100px. Perfect. Well, that scooted that up nicely, but it's also scooted our content up. I want a bit more breathing room for that content there. I don't want it quite as close to that menu. So to counter that, I'm going to give it an extra 100 pixels padding on the top. Again, just put in the 100, it'll put in the pics for you. And if that's not enough, give it more. Great. Well, that's working perfectly for us now. Let's just save the changes there. If we roll down, it's not a sticky menu. If you want to make that sticky, we can do that quite easily as well by going into the header template itself. And you can do this on the page. You see it goes green up there and edit header template. We'll go in there. I'll go into the section that's holding it. We'll go over to advanced, down the scroll effects at the bottom, sticky position. I'm going to say stick to the top. Now, when I roll up the site, it's going to stay there, but we've got a similar problem as we had yesterday with that transparent header. When the content rolls over it, it's sort of mixing up with the menu there. You can't really see the menu very well. So to counter that, what we can do, I'm going to go to the background. Still in this section, I'm going to give it a black background. Initially, I'm going to take all the opacity down all the way. So we've got no color there at all. And if we look up here, we've got a little pin icon. 
Now, when you make things sticky, that icon will appear. If you've not made it sticky, that icon's not going to appear. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to say when it's sticky, I'm going to click on the color. I'm going to pull that opacity back. So we've got a blank version there. Great. So I'll put it back on desktop now. Transparent. When we roll up, we've got that black color and the contents going underneath there. Great. Well, let's save this. Make sure it's going to work. Save page content there. Let's exit the visual builder. Great. Well, if we go down there, we've got our nice transparent header there showing off that image. If I roll up, it's going to change that dark background just for what we want. Of course, if we go to a new page, we've got our nice original heading there. And if we go back, we've got our nice transparent one back again, just on this page. And of course, you can assign that to any page you want once you've built it. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video like this one. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.